Happening now, terror in New York after a pipe bomb explodes in Times Square. And a man faces charges after police said he hit a woman with his car following a domestic dispute. Well, we just got done going through another round of lake effect. We'll break down those snow totals that we got over the weekend, but another winter storm comes our way for the middle of the week in those chilly temperatures. We'll break it down next. Have you ever seen a snow globe? Well, that's probably what you thought you were watching when you're watching the Buffalo Bills and the Steelers pull out a tight one. All that next in sports. That's news now for Monday, December 11th, 2017. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works studios in downtown Jamestown. This is your source for breaking news. WNY News Now. And welcome and thank you so much for joining us. The oxymoron of happy Monday. I'm Justin Gould. Our top story. We're learning more about a domestic violence incident that resulted in a woman being star flighted from Faulkner Park on Sunday night. Today we spoke with Falk Ellicott Police Chief William Omis, who says that the holidays can be pretty tough for people who have relationship issues. It's always a, you'll see a rise in them, uh, you know, around holidays such as Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so yeah, we do see that uh, in severity. I don't. Know. It's always a you'll see a rise in them, uh, you know, around holidays such as Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so yeah, we do see that uh, in severity. I don't know. Also, again, I just in general the numbers rise around the holidays. Anytime, again, this one with a vehicle that you have, they're always dangerous when you have domestics in a vehicle or a moving vehicle, you know, from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Uh, just for the obvious reasons, you have a moving vehicle. It's, it's, it's always a dangerous situation. Now, the 38-year-old suspect who police believe was responsible for this has been identified as Sean Arnold. He was booked into Chautauqua County Jail on Sunday. He's scheduled to be arraigned soon. And a pipe bomb strapped to a man went off in a New York City subway near Times Square on Monday, injuring the suspect and another person at the height of morning rush hour there. Law enforcement say a man and another person are being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the explosion happened in an underground passageway under 42nd Street between 7th and 8th Avenue just after 7.30 a.m. The explosion triggered a massive response from both police and fire personnel. We will go forward and we'll go forward uh, together. All the service will resume. Let's go back to work. Uh, we're not going to allow them to disrupt us. That's exactly what they want. And that is exactly what they're not going to get. Now, everything around that area was shut down for some time. The White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders tweeted that President Donald Trump has been briefed on the explosion. We'll have much more coverage throughout the day on our website, WNYNewsNow.com. Well, Mother Nature seemed to be the best defense for the better part of four quarters on Sunday at New Era Field, but it couldn't stop LaShawn McCoy from sprinting into the end zone for a 21-yard stealing and overtime victory. The snow not only caused problems on the field, but off as well. Orchard Park Police telling us that during the period before and after the game, officers responded to more than 100 calls for car crashes, fights, criminal mischief, intoxicated folks, and other things that go along with football in Buffalo. The snow covered roadways made it difficult for motorists all day long on Sunday. And now our Dakota Hunter is being held accountable for this <laughs> snow, Dakota. Well, actually, I like that. Mother Nature was the first defense. She was. I that, love that. That was a nice saw, transition. Did you I see the that. Bills game yesterday, Dakota? Yeah, well, actually, I did see some parts of the Bills game during the snow. I'm not a Bills fan, but uh, I was, was seeing some parts of that snow. And, oh, man, right? that was some pretty heavy flakes. And, it was pretty uh, cool. I bet it was fun 
actually oh, yeah. to be there. Oh, yeah. Being out there chilling your buttons off. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, speaking about the lake effect snow, we did get some of the snow totals that came in this morning from the National Weather Service from that round of lake effect. Take a look at this. Elma in Erie County, over 20 inches of snow fell from that lake effect. Ethel Springs, about 20 inches. And no, Here's Ethel Springs is not related to Radiator by. Springs at all. And uh, you can see pretty much the snow solutions. totals. This is pretty much all from Erie County. And uh, there's Orchard Park's total of 16.7 inches. Of course, New Era Stadium is located in Orchard Park. And uh, here are some more totals. These are pretty much getting closer to home. Attica in Wyoming County, 13.4 inches. Silver Creek with 4 inches. And Jamestown, only 1.3 inches. And that's pretty much as forecast as I told you. I think a lot of the heaviest snow would have been north. And that's where it was, where we had a lot of that heavy snow yesterday. But yeah things get worse even once again weather service issued a winter storm watch i think we've had more winter storm watches so far this year than we've had anything else and uh, you can see pretty much another winter storm watch is in effect for all of western new york and uh, this goes until six o'clock wednesday evening for the potential for not only heavy snow with a clipper system but lake effect Yes, the lake effect machine just won't die. We'll break down all of that along with that quick solution seven day forecast in just a few minutes. Back to you, Justin. All right, Dakota, thank you. I bet you'll like this next one. Take a look at this. Thunder snow. Well, that's not the right graphic. I'm sorry. There we go. Thunder snow rattled parts of Western New York on Sunday. Maybe we can hear it. Let me be quiet for a second. Now, this was all part of the same lake effect snow band that dominated one bill's drive. Vanessa Kaprick shot this video. She told us that it was pretty exciting to capture the event. She also said this wasn't the first time that she saw this phenomenon. And experts tell me, and Dakota, you can correct me if yes. I'm wrong. It's not that rare. No. Actually, we do get... Well, actually... Well, thunder snow isn't as rare as a lot of people think it is. It's actually right. related to very heavy rates of snowfall. It's when you get very heavy rates of snowfall, that's when you get mm -hmm. thunder snow. And thunder snow is obviously thunder and or lightning when it snows. And generally mm -hmm. when you have thunder snow, as you just seen there, you look outside and all you see is white. Because that's when you get some of that heavy snow. And geez, we should have called Jim happened. Cantori from the Weather Channel because Jim Cantori loves thunder snow. Good deal. Yeah, so Dakota, we'll check back in with you a little bit. Thank you. Coming up next here on News Now, a new study about health risks are higher in rural hospitals. At least that's what they say. And today is National App Day. We'll get on the fun when we return. Stay with us. WNY News Now is sponsored by Chautauqua Audio Works, 3335 South Roberts Road in Fredonia. More than a music store. Call 679-4333. Call now, 679-4333. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvan Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer, plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Wishing you a safe and happy holiday season. WNY News Now, the Jolly Team, where coverage comes first. The possibility of dying from a common heart rhythm disorder is 70% higher for those treated in rural hospitals instead of urban ones. That's at least according to a new study out. The Research Center on Treatment for Atrial Fibrillation, or AFib, says that the disease can lead to blood clots, stroke, heart failure, and other complications. Experts say the new focus shifts on finding why the death risk is higher in rural hospitals than in urban ones. They say that it might be caused by staffing problems. Well, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo recently announced that $26 million is available for the Affordable Home Ownership Development Program. The money can be used to make improvements to existing owner-occupied single or multifamily homes. The grants can also be used to acquire and rehabilitate owner-occupied homes for sale and construct new owner-occupied homes that would be sold. Now this is a yearly grant that offers up to 40,000 bucks per home 
that is eligible. And for thousands of years, people have soaked in hot springs or steamy baths. I certainly wish I could be doing that right now. They say because it feels good, but a new study seems to show that there are actual health benefits from, apart from being clean, this man is finding relief from his chronic pain. No sound on... I've had three back surgeries and the last one um, didn't do so well. I come to the springs in Idaho City three times a week. The hot water makes me feel so much better. The depression seems to leave too. When you step into a hot bath and your core temperature goes up, a number of things happen that help with pain. You relax the muscles, that takes the tension off the nerves that run through the muscles. Hot baths expand the blood vessels and allow the healing properties within the blood to be delivered. I was on six different Oxycontins, 14 pills a day. Not only did I drop the pills in numbers, I dropped the medication in potency. If you do this for a long period of time, three or four times a week, we know your risk of cardiovascular disease, your risk of heart attack, of stroke, uh, goes down by this immersion in uh, hot water or steam. There are people that have cardiovascular conditions where they should check with their physicians before they engage in any treatment. And he gets in the corner there and I can see in his face that he's totally calm. It impacts us in every way possible. What I'm trying to do is get back some quality of life that I enjoy. Now. Well, good Thursday. Today's not Thursday. <laughs> Today's Monday. Where am I? Yeah. I think that hot tub, you know, that hot bath got me a little excited there. I love hot tubs. Let's go right to the Sky Vision Camera Network. You're looking live at Salamanca from the Seneca Allegheny Casino. You can see some of the snow that fell from the lake effect. You see some of the traffic down there on I-86 on the Southern Tier Expressway. And how about the Lower Niagara River? How about that? That's overlooking the Niagara River as it empties into Lake Ontario. Man, that's a gorgeous shot. You can see some of the cloud cover there as well. Back to Lynx 1, and uh, we actually had snow that fell down in the south over the weekend, and uh, I kind of mentioned it on Friday. Take a look at this. Snow, this is down in the southern part of Alabama, down in Bruton, Alabama. Uh, this was, um, and I believe Bruton, Alabama is down near the, uh, the uh, state line, uh, which is down by the Florida Panhandle. My friend Rob, who lives down there, sent me this picture. He also sent a video in of the snow. Take a look at that. It's a winter wonderland down in Alabama. Would you imagine that much snow falling wow. down in the southern part of Alabama? And some parts of Alabama got upwards of a foot of snow, yes, 12 inches down in the south. And man, they enjoyed a nice winter wonderland and I'm sure they've got some uh, nice snow days. But the good news is the warm up comes their way and that snow is gonna be melting away. But yeah, it's not uncommon to get snow down there this time of the year. And man, that's a nice video right there. Thanks to Rob McClellan for sending me that. That is a fantastic shot. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the winter storm watch continues for all of Western New York. And this goes until six o'clock on Wednesday afternoon for the potential for a clipper system that comes our way. And also the lake effect machine on Lake Erie is not shutting off. It will add snow to it. And uh, we wanna give you the first defense of what you can expect for the middle of the week. So basically lake effect snow starts pretty much tonight and it lasts through Wednesday. This is gonna be more widespread in nature than the past two events that we've gone through, mainly because a lot of the snow is going to be coming from a clipper system that's out uh, to our west that's gonna come our way um, uh, uh, pretty much tonight and then tomorrow. And uh, it's gonna be enhanced with the lake effect. So the lake machine is gonna be on generating more lake snow. And again, this is gonna be significant. Again, it's the total range that we have right now, 10 plus inches in spots and i'll show you the snow totals in just a moment we'll break that down first defense doppler pretty much not much going on out there we have a few light snow returns down here uh south of buffalo along with a few little light snow returns uh pretty much northward but nothing of a big deal uh right now so that's good news for now the satellite and radar composite you can see right here this is part of the clipper system out here in michigan that's actually going to be coming our way that's going to throw some of the snow our way and lake effects that lake machine is all going to be kicked on and it's going to be causing some 
some more lake effects. So the forecast basically for today, mostly cloudy skies and snow showers will actually increase throughout the um, uh, uh, th throughout the afternoon hours. High temperature around 30 with that southwest wind around 6 to 9 miles an hour. And currently out at the airport right now, it's 25 degrees. We got that terrible wind chill number of 18 degrees. You combine it with that. Well, I mean, you know, at least the winds aren't too bad, so we don't have a bad wind chill index. But yeah, we still have a wind chill index and seven mile visibility at the airport uh, because some of that snow that's falling, you can see some of the snow that accumulated there at the JCC Skycam as well. Future weather, let's take it for the next 24 hours. You can see some of the snow here that the model's picking up on, but take a look at what happens throughout the day today. This is the advancement of some of the snow uh, that basically comes our way uh, basically today and then tonight. And then the more widespread snow comes our way overnight. Take a look at this. The darker blues into purples indicate some heavier snowfall rates. And again, it starts to work its way through the area uh, throughout the overnight into tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning. You can see pretty much widespread expanse snow across the entire region. And some of this will be heavy at times and not ruling out thunder snow as well. So some of us may have a shot of seeing some more thunder snow uh, with this system as it rolls on through. So basically to break down tonight's forecast for you, lake effect snow, it is on the increase throughout the afternoon hours and especially tonight. And it will be heavy at times, especially with the placement of those heavy lake bands will drop down to 24 degrees with that south wind 7 to 14 miles an hour. Now these are the projected snowfall totals that we have right now. And these could be subject to change based on uh, different model runs. You can see we're going to be in the bullseye this time, 14 to 18 inches down in our direction, about 12 to uh, 14 inches in Southern Erie County, the Buffalo Metro around 12 to uh, about, uh, about a foot around the Buffalo Metro, but we're going to be in the bullseye this time. And this is because of that widespread expanse snow that comes with the Clipper system. And then we're also going to add on to it with the lake effect. Now these totals could be higher. Need I remind you, these are kind of preliminary totals based on what we have right now. These totals could change tonight and especially tomorrow. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, pretty significant event coming our way once again. Zone weather, let's break down tomorrow's forecast county by county for you. And you're probably not going to like tomorrow's forecast. I'm going to tell you that. Pretty much mid to lower uh, mid to upper 20s. We'll do it for temperatures and widespread snow and blowing snow is likely. Take a look at the wind. Southwest 19 to 26 miles an hour, gusting around 35, 40 miles an hour. So that will definitely create some blowing snow and very limited visibilities. Eastward we go into Cattaraugus County and you can see pretty much again, lower uh, about mid 20s, uh, basically uh, mid to upper 20s. We'll do it here. And again, snow showers, it will become lake enhanced throughout the day and especially overnight tonight. And the winds will really whip that snow around. And again, accumulation down here, Probably daytime accumulation is probably going to be around uh, four, about two to four inches in some spots. Next seven days of your life coming up on the screen right now. And uh, you can see that uh, the uh, Clipper system drops our temperatures on Wednesday down to the upper teens. That's a high temperature. Oh man, that's going to be frigid. And we still have that Clipper system around on Wednesday dropping some snow. And then finally, it looks like we start, but this cool air kind of lasts until next weekend when we start to get around average for the weekend. But snow and cold is the story for the next seven days. Ryan will have sports right after the break, so stay with us. First Defense Weather is sponsored by Quick Solutions of Jamestown. Count on Quick Solutions for printing, copying, mass mailings, and so much more. Part of your team. Learn more at quicksolutionsusa.com. That's quicksolutionsusa.com. With coverage that matters, this is WNY. News Now. The team that puts coverage first. Defendant was being arraigned on felony narcotics charge, bolted from custody, uh, ran through the trailer park here in the village. We're currently seeking uh, his location. Can you fathom somebody starting a fire? I can't. Obviously knowing there are people in the building. No, I cannot. The person had to been sick. Several shots rang out early Sunday morning. They drove up by, shooting a couple rounds off. For Cameron, you know, he was the only senior we had there, and he's put as much time or more than you know, anyone I've ever coached. So He says that Coach Wilcox had a tremendous impact on him, both on and off the mat. The Jamestown Red Raider Marching Band is getting ready to set off to Chicago for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. 
WNY Sports Now is powered by Phone Zone of Jamestown. With the largest inventory around, we buy and sell our own merchandise at a price that can't be beat. Have a broken screen? We'll fix it. Learn more at phonezoneshop.com. From the Phone Zone Sports Desk, I'm Ryan Hedrick. Here's what's trending on a Monday afternoon. The Ravens and the Steelers Sunday night fourth quarter with Baltimore up 38-36. Look at Ben Roethlisberger, 34-yard strike to Antonio Brown setting up this 46-yard field goal from Chris Boswell to put the Pittsburgh Steelers up and up to stay. 39-38, Joe Flacco sacked in, fumbles out of bounds as if you needed a little more emphasis. Baltimore Ravens with a big loss on the road. The Steelers with a win and no doubt for Ryan Shazier remains in a Pittsburgh hospital. A lake effect snow system dumped up to eight inches A New Era Field, and boy, it was fun to watch. I'm sure it wasn't that fun to play in, but LaShawn McCoy would beg to differ. A career day, 32 carries, 200 plus yards, including this game-winning romp to the end zone, and the Bills are hanging on by a thread. I'm talking about their playoff shot, Buffalo Bills. 13-7 13-7 in overtime. College football, the 118th Army-Navy game, and the Navy trailing by one, mishandles the snap, but picks it up and somehow gets the first down. The 48-yard field goal, no good. 14-13 for the second year in a row. Army pulls it out. College basketball this weekend, St. Bonaventure tops Yale in a very good game. Jalen Adams continues to play well after the ankle injury in the preseason. Up next for St. Bonaventure, it is Vermont in Rochester on Saturday at four o'clock. High school basketball, there are several girls games tonight, including Frewsburg and Southwestern, Walsh and Cataraugus Little Valley. Boys schedule highlighted by Lakeshore and Dunkirk, Brockton and North Collins and Clymer and Gowanda. From the Phones on Sports Desk, I'm Ryan Hedrick. That's a look at what's trending on this Monday afternoon. Happy Holidays from WNY News Now. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Everything's made fresh here. We love to be outside, uh, and it's nice inside if it's raining, so we have a choice. Locals and non-locals agree that the main landing is quickly becoming a destination. It's just so casual, and just the food is amazing. Uh, I love the hamburgers. But I really like the tuna I had. The main landing restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. And welcome back to News Now. This next story is one of Dakota's favorite oh boy. holidays. We all know that they've completely changed how we work, live, and play. And we're talking about apps here, people. You probably can't get through a day without opening at least one of them. Mm -hmm. I have one open right now. They're getting some recognition on this National App Day apps short for software applications are the computer programs designed to help us in our lives. They run on your phone, tablet, or even Apple Watch if you're lucky. Although there's other watches that are not Yeah, Apple there's other watches smart watches well. out there. Now we read in the news that they help us they can help us play bills and check out social media and the list of course goes on and there are over two million apps in existence both in the Apple and Android world. Thousands more are introduced every single day. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I, I yeah. love I love this device probably too much. <laughs> like I I uh, I'm I have it all organized onto one screen, mm -hmm. and then I have like some over here which are like. Oh, you're uh, so. This are you is kind of like, like the, a big user of folders. I am. Yeah. <laughs> like if you go into my photography folder, I have like folders within folders within folders. Yep. Yeah. But. Yeah. Well, you know, 
<laughs> well, actually, it's very interesting because it doesn't matter if I, I'm probably going to ignite the Apple versus Android stuff here right. with, with what I'm about to say. So um, if I go on and check our comments after show and I see a bunch of fights about Android and iOS, then I'll know why because I started it. But Apple really was the first to have, have the App Store. Right. Um, and obviously Google followed later with the Play Store. Right. And uh, it was, and it really changed the way we use phones because prior to iPhone, I mean, you know, uh, I guess touchscreen phones did exist, but you need to have, you know, a stylus and you need to have all this stuff right. to make the phone work. And then Apple came along and put in an actual like, touch screen on a phone where you could just touch it with your finger. And uh, the App Store, I think, came around in <laughs> iOS 3 or was it 2? I know yeah. it wasn't in the first version of iOS, but and today since National App Day, I have some app suggestions. Yeah, and real good, quick and good for you too. This is the app of the day right now. It's called App of the Day. Go Noodles. <laughs> it's a kids education app. It says Go Noodles is packed with fun videos to get your kid moving, running, jumping, and dancing. Oh, I need that. <laughs> While learning little lessons along the way, some videos incorporate lessons of fundamentals of arithmetic and grammar. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> okay. Hollow Blocko, for example, don't know what it is, probably it's in the app. Brings a uh helps children learn less than and greater than. Okay, so it's like, you know, the mm -hmm. less than and greater than. Yeah, so. little alligators. Yeah. So this is the app of the day anyways. Yeah. But how do they what was that? Oh, oh okay. our, our, our our producer our, is asking our new us, tech guy. I think is an Android fanboy. Yeah, it sounds like he's like, how do the kids learn? Well, Storm's an Android iOS? fanboy too, so I can never tell you know if it's our new, uh, it's you know, if it's our new director or if it's Storm back there. The tech people, they just <laughs> like the complicated phones. I, I, I have no, two I'm, of these. I have an iPhone, which is mine, and then there's a work phone that I have as well, mm -hmm. and I can't stand the Android-based crap. I, right. I have to join your boat. This is so much easier. Well, well, part of the reason why I'm an Apple guy and part of why I like iOS and Macs is because when they work, they just work. And, you know, for me, because, you know, prior to getting into this business, I worked as a uh, sort of like an IT guy yeah. where I was fixing people's stuff. And, you know, I do that as my job during the day. I don't want to come home and deal with the complicated mess of Android right. or deal with the complicated mess of Windows. I just right. want to come home and right. want something right. that works. Right. And that's what Apple offers when it does work. Right. Uh, they offer some things. And my two app suggestions for you very quickly mm -hmm. are Radar Scope. Every, and especially if you classify yourself as a weather nut, you need to have Radar Scope. It is the best radar display it's app ever. That. And it's, uh, it's there's a version different. for iOS, Android, radar and there's scope. a version for the Mac as well. That's Radar Scope right there. Radar now scope. you have to pay for it, but it's a very good app. And there is certain pro subscriptions you can get that add on certain things. And then the other one is actually made by the same company who makes Radar Scope. It's called Weather Radio by WDT. That stands for Weather Decision Technologies. And it's a warning app. I often mention during severe weather coverage, you need to have an app on your phone that triggers warnings. And that's exactly what it does. It was right right there. Here, Weather okay. Radio by WDT. And again, it's only five bucks and it triggers warnings. It's polygon based. It bases your location. It We've works very well. We've talked about the polygons before. Yes. I got, yes. So, you know what's really funny? This guy, and I know we're running out of time, so we got to go to weather. So let's go to weather. I'm going to finish talking, and then you can talk about it. But, okay. So seven-day forecast. And real quick, this guy is such a pro that he can transition. He made this segment about weather safety. Good job. I love it. When, you. just now? Yeah. You okay. <laughs> but you, you, he took the segment from me. I was trying to talk about fun stuff. Next seven days of your life on Wednesday, we'll see what. Yes, there you go. So the next seven days of your life brought to you by Quick Solutions. You can see the cold temperatures come our way for the middle of the week, upper teens. The cold factor stays our way with that Clippers system and a cold front. It looks like we don't get around average until next weekend. The average high this time of the year is around 38. And we're not going to see that until probably this weekend with lots of snow this week. And remember that winter storm watch goes in effect 7 p.m. tonight and it lasts through 6 p.m. Wednesday. All right. Thank you, Dakota. You're welcome. That's going to be it for today after he stole my segment. Be sure to tune in <laughs> tomorrow for Tuesday's edition. In the meantime, head to WNYNewsNow.com. Use the Safari app or yes. Google Chrome app, depending on your choice of operating system. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take a number, I was lightning before the